should be, uh, be built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and his righteousness. Amen. All of the grounds are seen the same. Amen. You know, it's good to know that we're just coming with our help. Amen. Amen. In the book of Acts, they this is the church, first church that uh, gave us an example how to live for God. Amen. Amen. And to see God's power moving amongst the earth. As I said in time past, it was not just enough for them to be followers of Christ. After a while, you got to stop following and start doing something. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's what it is called uh, apostles. After they had been disciples, learners of Christ Jesus, it was time for them to enact what they had learned. It's not, it's not good just to learn a whole lot. You know, you got career people Amen. go to school to be career students. They never accomplish nothing. They they stay in there a long time. Sometimes they stay there just to collect the money, what have you. Amen. I knew a person just like that. Never got a degree at all. Just went to school all a long time. Nothing wrong with nothing wrong with learning. <coughs> About different things, but you should accomplish something after you learn it. 
Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. I think. Praise the Lord. Ain't no use going to school. Just don't just go to school and be a career student. Amen. Amen. Some go to school for different reasons to show her their intellect and to show people when they go to a lesser job that I know more than you know. But the fact of the matter, you didn't know nothing. Amen. Because if you knew more, you would get a better what you have. That's my opinion. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's out of my opinion. Praise the Lord. But let's talk about the Word of God. I'm going. I want to talk about how they learn and sing, and then they did. They do. They, they do. They did exactly what they had to learn. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You know, uh, I, I, as I read the Bible and read some of my other things, uh, if you want something from the Lord, you got to find someone that knows something. If you want to emulate them. Amen. Remember Elisha and Elijah? Amen. Elisha wanted the power that Elijah had. Uh -huh. In order for him to get that, he had to follow him a while. Amen. And he told, Elijah told him that if you can be there, in my own word now, <clears throat> in that time, you'll get that door portion you want. Amen. So therefore, if you want to be like somebody, you got to start watching and doing what they do Amen. in order to receive it. God, as one guy used to tell me, he will impart unto you. God will. Amen. Not that individual. God seen that it was good for Elisha to be there, and God gave Elisha what he desired. Amen. Amen. If you desire something, God will give you that desire Amen. of your heart. This, is that right? Amen. 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 He will give you desires of your heart. Praise the Lord. So let's look at the Lord today and uh, we'll learn more about the disciples and or the apostles. Amen. We talked last time that we was up. We talked uh, about uh, how the, the first miracle was created or done. Praise the Lord. And uh, how that they, the guy who was late uh, requested something from them. Praise the Lord. And he got more than what he requested. Amen. He was wanting some crumbs. And I always had this mentality that uh, I don't really want no handouts because you show me how to get it and I'll learn how to do it myself. Amen. 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 Because if I can do it myself, I don't have to ask you no more. Amen. But some people have the mentality that they want just to you keep on giving and giving. My name is Jimmy. Amen. You'll never get ahead by gimme gimme and stay with Jimmy. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, let's listen to praise the Lord. You know, as I talked about that persecution, they received persecution after they laid hands on this fellow who was at the, the gate of the, the tabernacle or the church or what you want to call it, the synagogue. And <clears throat> And uh, it was his it was his thing to go down there, and uh, that was his requirement because he couldn't do nothing else but lay down there and ask for alms. Amen. Amen. And people come by and they give him something, feel sorry for him, give him a dime here or there. Praise the Lord. And he was content. That was his lot. He he was content with that position. Amen. Stick a pen there. Never be contented in whatever position you're in right now. If you know that you can do better, amen. 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 Never give up on dreams because dreams do come true. Amen. I don't care how old you are. That's right. Dreams do come true. Amen. Amen. A guy named Kentucky Fried Chicken, Mr. Colonel Sanders, his dreams started coming true when he was over 63 years old. Amen. But that's hope for you and me, right? Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's good news, isn't it? Amen. You gotta have a mark. If somebody else can do it, I can do it. Amen. That's gotta be a dream for me. Some people when they retire, they think that's it. It's all over. It's not over until you say it's over. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Never just roll over and be like a piece of meat in the in the oven. Just turn it over. Until it gets done. Now, my, I'm not done yet. Amen. You're not done yet. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Well, praise the Lord. These individuals, these disciples, these apostles, correction, they went down there to the church. And when they laid hands on this lame man and received his strength in his legs and he got up moving around. Praise the Lord. The healing of the lame beggar in chapter 3 of Acts gives us a background of an occasion for the first persecution of the church. <coughs> Anytime you do something wrong right for God, you're going to be persecuted. Amen. Amen. No ends about it. Amen. Praise the Lord. The priests and the Sadducees were attracted by the commotion and gathered around praise of the crowd and heard Peter charging the Jews with the rejection and murder of Jesus Christ proclaimed in his resurrection. And how they, the apostles got arrested with the lame man for doing something right. <laughs> that's crazy, that's crazy, isn't it? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. When you do something right, someone's going to criticize you. Amen. Amen. You can be ever so right if people criticize you. But the good news is you got to have thick skin. Amen. We live in a day and time where you're going to have some thick skin. Amen. Thick skin, you're going to should be able to take it. Because then Paul it says, when I was a child, I speak as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Amen. Amen. It's time now, time now, you should be able to grow up. Amen. You're not eating milk, drinking milk no more. Amen. You're not drinking no milk from a bottle no more. You're eating milk. You're eating food, right? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Acts, the second chapter, the fourth chapter, the second verse, and being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. It was their job to preach about Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Not take credit for themselves. Now, that's what's wrong with a lot of people. They take credit for themselves. Amen. They think, look at me. Look what I can do. Look what I have done. And that's not where it's at. Amen. If you're one God do something for you, you can't take credit for nothing. Amen. Amen. Always point it back to him. Amen. 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 Peter and John were arrested and were put in jail until the next day, since it was rather late that evening. Fourth verse, third verse says that they laid hands on them and put them in a holding until the next day, for it was even time. <clears throat> Amen. But when when they seen this man get healed, faith came to the sinners that day, and many who heard the message believed. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's something about when God proves Himself or makes known Himself among the people. People are gonna take note. Amen. Amen. The fourth verse says that howbeit many of them which heard the word believe, and the number of the men were about five thousand people. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It says if man were were, were saved, but the five thousand means they had to have wives with them and children with them, Amen. which total probably about twenty thousand people. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. But the people heard the word. Uh -huh. And when they heard the word, they received it. And God blessed them accordingly. Praise the Lord. And their lives were changed. Amen. <clears throat> the wisdom and the power of God did something magnificent in that day and time. This miracle and the gift could have been operating through Jesus when he had visited the temple. At his time, but it was left there for the disciples to do. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He could have done that when he was around, but he left it for his disciples. You know, something about God. God can do a whole lot of things, but he leaves some things up for you and me. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God can do a whole lot of things, but he's waiting on you. Hey, I got, I got you down here now. Amen. I'm directed to you to do it, to show you my greatness. That I am powerful, that I can work through you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the more we allow God to work through us, the more we'll see God's power manifest. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. I know that's right. God has a time and a season for everything. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Uh -huh. The Bible says that in Ecclesiastes, there's a time and a season for everything. Praise the Lord. God's time of a miracle is overwhelming and significant. <coughs> 
Amen. We're going to see some things happen in our world. Amen. But it's going to be left to us to get ourselves together and pray so God can change things. Amen. 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 What's going on in the world will not affect you if you stay close to God. Amen. But God is new, not moved by the situation that occurs right now. If we stay prayerful, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Amen. Amen. God still blessed them days of old when things got turbulent mm -hmm. and messed up. Uh -huh. He always has someone to always. bring salvation. Always. He used Job's, Joseph, is that right? Amen. Amen. When they had famine in the world, mm -hmm. God gave him the wisdom and understanding how to plan for things that are occurring. Praise the Lord. Do you not know God, the same God today that's doing the same thing among us? Amen. All we as believers got to do is get ourselves together and, and stay tuned. Amen. And stay prayerful and committed to God and God will do some straight, some different things. Amen. Amen. God will perform some miracles that you thought was unpredictable if you stay consistent. The Bible says in the fourth chapter of Acts, it says, listen to what it says. <clears throat> and when they had set them in the midst, they asked in the synagogue, the Sanhedrin court, praise the Lord. Listen to what it says. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, by what power or by what name have you done this? Eight verse says that Peter filled with the Holy Ghost said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deeds done in the important man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him do this man stand here before you hope. This is the stone which the, was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head cornerstone. Neither is there salvation any other for there is none other name under the heavens given unto men whereby you must be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. They made it known that they, it was not by their hands, right. nor their activities, that this miracle was performed. Praise the Lord. We have a proud status. Praise the Lord. It was not because of us. Amen. We are nothing but mortals. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. little old piece of clay. It was by the hand of Jesus. The man that y'all rejected, and that's what's happened today in the world. People nowadays are rejecting Christ by the hand. Leaps and bounds. Amen. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. Amen. A lot of people don't believe in God. Let's not believe in there's a heaven and an earth. Amen. Or a hell and earth. Amen. Or heaven and heaven and earth. Praise the Lord. It's a figment of their imagination. Why you say that? Because of the way they act. Amen. Amen. <coughs> the way they do things. <clears throat> People don't believe in God no more. It's a form of godliness going Amen. on. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I Praise know that's the right. Lord. Amen. The apostles were treated with contempt and were arrested because of what they did was right. Amen. Amen. When you do right, people are going to not understand what you're doing. That's right. And they do it on purpose. They try to degrade you. Amen. Amen. But you as a believer of God must stay consistent. You cannot, you cannot bow down to what the devil is doing. One lady asked me one day, said, uh, you say you 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 got you you say you minister? I said, I don't say I mean I am a minister. You don't you don't let them degrade you. Now that's up to you whether you believe or not. It's it's cure less to me what you believe anyway. Amen. Amen. You ain't got no hell to ever put me in. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. You got to be bold about what you're in. And that's what happened to these disciples. They got bold. Amen. About whom they believed. And it was fully persuaded that what they had said was true because the God that they served was with them. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus told them on the day when he went back to sin and heaven, he said, I will be with you always. Always. Even to the end of the world. Amen. Let him know, don't, I got your back. 
praise the Lord. And that's good to know that God has our back. Amen. 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 So they 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 they, they questioned them. Amen. But they had this fearless testimony. Amen. Amen. The stone which the builder refused has become the head stone of the corner. Praise the Lord. They refused and rejected Jesus Christ, but he's the head. Amen. And somebody said he'd be the top dog. Praise him. Amen. Praise I'm him. glad he's the top person. Praise yes. the Lord. Amen. I, I rely on him. Yes. I trust. I lean Hallelujah. on him. The Bible says, lean not to your understand, but look into always the knowledge and he will direct your path. Amen. You got to learn to lean on him. Yes. Because the devil try to intimidate. Don't let nobody intimidate you. That's right. Who are they anyway? Amen. They ain't nothing. Amen. You, you, you go through the chase and look beyond all that mess, you see they don't mean squat. Amen. 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 They got a form of God that's not a power. They just got from there over them. They're trying to intimidate you and say, you less than. But hey, don't let nobody put you less than. Amen. You are more than a couple through Christ yes. that stood you. Amen. Hallelujah. These are the disciples that said, well, they said, this is what they said about these disciples. They said, these are unlearned men. They don't know nothing. Hey, but they've been around Jesus. Amen. When you're around Jesus, you know a little bit more than they know. Praise him. You got an inside track. Amen. And God, he said, in that day, I'll give you what to say and how to say it. Glory to God. In the day you're going through a crisis, God will give you what to say and how to say it and how to get through that crisis on time. Amen. Amen. And they'll think, my God, where do you learn that from? He's been with Jesus. Praise the Lord. It's good to be with Jesus. Amen. Amen. And somebody said way back there, have a little talk with Jesus. He'll make everything all right. Amen. You got to learn to be with him on a yes. daily basis and talk to him, communicate with him so that when things occur, He'll enlighten you and give you the inside track. Praise the Lord. You know, man tries to set a lot of roadblocks, but God knows how to bust any roadblock. Amen. Amen. And that's what he did to the disciples. Praise so the, the message today is dealing with boldness, how these guys got bold. He said that those guys in the uh, Pharisees were scratched. These guys are unlearned, untrained. That did not make them any less different. Amen. They knew who they were, and they knew who they'd been around. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in uh, Psalms the 1, 18 and 22nd verse says, The stone which the builder refused to become the head stone of the, refused to become, is the head stone of the corner. <coughs> people rejected Christ. You got to watch out when people reject you. Amen. Sometimes you might be the one that's going to lead them. That's right. Right down the road. You know that? That's right. Amen. That's right. I recall an incident way back when, when I was just uh, in my 20s. And this little missionary came to our church. And I always like to require knowledge. You know, Amen. if you've been around a while, you're supposed to know something. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Hey man, I ain't knocking older people because I'm, I'm getting up there at my age too. I don't want nobody knocking me. But in that day and time, I. I asked this lady, I wasn't trying to trap her or nothing like that. I asked her a question. My God, what did I ask that question for? Young man, when they start talking to you, young man, you know you're in trouble. Amen. They're getting ready to try to dust you up. That's right. Young man, she began to rattle off. I said, okay, excuse me. When they act like that, they don't know nothing. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. And then, Later on that night, this lady had to go and catch a bus on the Continental Line to make connection to go back to where she came from. And so this other mother said, uh, she said to this mother, she's not alive anymore. I could call her name, but I'm not, because somebody may be listening to see her this that bad. And she said, uh, well, how am I going to get down to that bus station? She's pointing her fingers. She said, see that young man over there? He'll pick you up about 4.30 in the morning. That woman felt like a heel. Amen. And her name was Heel. <laughs> Missionary Heel. Mother Heel felt like a heel. Amen. This is a true story now. And so she had to buckle down to ask me to take her over to the bus stop at 4.30 in the morning. Amen. 4.30 in the morning. The you understand? 4.30 in the morning. Nobody gets up at 4.30 in the morning. Amen. 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 But we did it because the love of God was inside of us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you got to learn how to treat people. Amen. Wherever you at, learn how to treat people. 
Don't criticize people, but treat them right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Matthew, the, 20, the 21st verse, of the sec, uh, 21st chapter, the 20, 42nd verse says, And Jesus said unto them, Did you never read the scriptures? The stone which the builder rejected, the same has become the head corner. This is the Lord's doing, and his marvelous in our eyes. God was teaching those people something. He was teaching them about never reject. Don't reject people. Don't reject the word. But somewhere down the line, you're going to need that same word you reject. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somewhere down the road, you're going to need that that you reject. And people are doing it today. They're rejecting the word of God, thinking that they can do things by themselves, and they can't. Amen. They can't. They cannot do it by themselves. Amen. It takes God to change their lives. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. So never reject the word. You may not understand it today, but put it in your habit set. Amen. You're going to need it down the road. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Under the direction of the Holy Spirit, these disciples did what they were supposed to do. Amen. They declared the word of God and talked about the goodness and mercy of God and how God, through Jesus Christ, had performed this miracle and he used us to do it. My whole cause in talking about the book back is to show you how they did what they did. And that because what they could do, we can do. Amen. Because we're the same blood. We got the same DNA they have. Amen. 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 We are God. And God do the same thing with us. But we got to come expecting That's right. for God to do things and God will do it. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. That's Amen. Right. Nobody has nothing on us. Amen. Nobody has nothing on you. If you come expecting to receive. Amen. Get out of that place of uh, compartmentalize yourself. Well, you know, I got going to do this and this is what's going to happen. No, get out of that mess. Amen. Come expecting to receive. Go witness to people. You'll get a new lease on life. Talk to somebody about Jesus. Don't be stagnated. Talking about the love of God has uh, what he's done for you in your life. You don't have to give them an in-depth report, A, B, C, do X, Y, Z. But talk about the goodness and mercy God has done for them, for you. It will enhance them and inspire them to do, to serve God. You know that? Amen. Amen. You got to declare what God has done. And talk about his goodness. And the more you talk about it, the more God will refresh, refresh you. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. Amen. P Peter boldly declared what God was done, had done for him. Now the people said, well, these are unschooled fishermen. Amen. But they didn't look at that. You don't look at where you came from. That's right. But look at where you're going. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Amen. The Bible says in Acts the fourth chapter, 13 verses, and when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceive that they were unlearned men and ignorant men. I don't like that, ignorant men. But they marveled that they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Whenever you've been with Jesus, you're never the same. Amen. Amen. I know that's People right. call you ignorant all they want to. Let them call you. That's their terminology. Amen. But because they said, you don't have to label yourself as that. That's right. Amen, praise the Lord. That's their label. Amen. That's not your label. Amen. Nobody try to tell you who you are. That's right. Don't let nobody do that. You get in that box. I'm not in nobody's box. Praise the Lord. What about Amen. you? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I could go with that box trip. I'm not going to go there. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. People are always trying to box us up. Over here and over there. Amen. I bust the box every time somebody try to get me in. <laughs> you know that? Can't nobody but hold me down. Amen. I'm Wallace. <laughs> Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. And you should be Wallace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Praise the Lord. The healed man, the man was healed, standing up very straight. It was evidence that this man had been healed. They could not re repute it or uh, mess with it and say, oh, this didn't happen. They, they knew this guy was at the gate. 
They're asked for arms all this time. They could not say, oh, this is not right. This is a gimmick. No, they knew this man who he was. Amen. Man, come here shouting and dancing. You know, when God heals your body, you will shout. Amen. Amen. And you will dance. Praise Amen. Sometime before the church started, I had my, my sons get there and, and deal with trombone shorty. Well. So I got to get, get loosened up. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. You know, even when you get older, you want to get loosened up. Well. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I don't plan on being in no wheelchair or no cane. And if I can Amen. help it, praise Amen. the Lord. I want to stay active and Praise the Lord. vibrant, you know? I want my mind to be clicking. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because you get to the age of retirement, you don't have to stop clicking. Amen. Thinking. <laughs> I don't know how, how long I'm going to live, but I do know I've got, I got a job to do. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to live to be 120 years old like most. You never know. Well, mm -hmm. You might too. We may all be in here together at 120. That would be a sight, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't got time yet. Praise the Lord. For whatever the number is, we're going to be all right. Amen. Amen. We want to stay with the Lord all the days of our life. Praise the Lord. Can praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. The apostles were very defiant and was courageous when they talked about Jesus. The Bible says in uh, Acts, the fourth chapter, the 18 to 24, says, and says that they called them and command them not to speak at the, all or teach about Jesus Christ. 19 verse, and Peter said, and Peter and John's answer said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of God or hearken to you more than unto God, you judge ye. This man was bold. <coughs> you know, sometimes you go to the court of law, <coughs> you buckle down to their ways. Now you do things reason, you know, you know, define the laws, and, but when you ask to speak, you speak. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You speak your peace. And listen to what the Bible says. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing on how they might punish them. Because the people of for all men glorified God, that which was done. Praise the Lord. These guys knew who they were in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. They had been with Jesus. They seen how Jesus was boldacious about what he was doing, and they, they, they acted it out. Amen. One, 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 one scripture said they would act like Christ. They was Christ-like Christians. They act like Christ. Why did they act like Christ? Because they had been with him. Amen. When you've been with Jesus, you'll act like him. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. You'll talk like him. Yeah. Amen, praise the Lord. It's something about being in the midst of Jesus that changes your mind. Amen. Amen. Change your attitude. You're supposed to be that way be with Jesus. You're doing all the same kind of mess you did before you got saved. You ain't been with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tell someone to praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Amen. But the old uh, guys in the they threatened to talk to about them, trying to do this or that, but they say they did not buckle out. But this is a scripture I like so much. When the disciples came back to their friends, look what it says in Acts, the, 20, the fourth chapter, the 29th and 31st verse. I like this. Now, listen to what. And now, Lord, behold their threats, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness we might speak thy word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, that the signs and wonders may be done by the name of the, thy holy son Christ. Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. And when they had prayed the place where they was at, at the assembly, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak of God's word boldly. The place was shaken where they was at. It said, Lord, give us the boldness to be able to stand and promote your word in the midst of those that don't like to hear it. We've got to do the same thing. Amen. 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 We've got to get bold about what we're doing. Don't get intimidated by people around you. Amen. These naysayers, these churchgoers, that's all they are, churchgoers. They're not living in the hill of beings. Are you trying to judge? No. By the fruit, you should know them. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. If you're talking about Jesus, they should not buckle down and, and go against what you're saying. Amen. That's right. Amen. You don't have to be no wonder. That's right. You're talking about Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. I like it. And they prayed, Lord, give us the boldness that we may speak thy words. 
It's, you got to be bold now to speak God's word. Amen. Because people around you try to intimidate you. That's right. Amen. Buckle you down. Amen. They have no, they do not do that on my jobs. I was waiting for one of them to say, you, you say you're a, you're, a, you're a pastor or something like that. I said, I don't have to go by what they say. I know. Amen. If they say something like, uh, you're not the man I thought you were, I say, neither are you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You got to counteract what they're saying. Amen. 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 And say it in love and smile at the same Amen. time you're saying. Amen. <coughs> we got to be bold. That's right. Because you are a child of God. And God depending on you to stand up for him. Amen. Amen. We're here for a reason and a purpose. That's right. In such times as these. Amen. We've got a responsibility to do in this day and time. Amen. When people are forgetting about God and doing everything they're big enough to do. And say they thought wrong was right and right was wrong. It's time for us to stand up. Amen. Amen. We gotta stand up and be counted as one of God's people. And I guarantee you, God will reward us accordingly. Amen. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. I'm not worried about what they're doing. People are scared about coming to church and somebody may be out the door looking and shoot you down. Hey, I'm not worried about that. Amen. I know the God of yesterday, today, and more will protect me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't worry about it. Don't get intimidated. Amen. But the Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Amen. I'm going to have a sound mind Amen. whenever I go somewhere. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sound. I mean, I'm not going to be confused. Amen. Don't you waver not. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't let your faith waver. What's going on? God's got an answer. Amen. God's got a word for you. As he had asked for the, bold, the boldness of the Peter and Jay and John. Amen. He's got a word for you today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Faithfulness. Amen. I like this here too. Praise the Lord. Faith and miracles were given to the apostles. The gift of faith is when God supernaturally does something for you. The working of miracles is when God's spirit, spiritual thing, is done through you. I say that for a reason. God's going to work things out in his midst from the first part of it. Faith, the gift of faith is when God supernaturally does something for you. You don't use your faith, but God going to work it through you. God's going to do it. You don't use your faith at all. That's where people get messed up by healing. Praise the Lord. There's going to come a time when God's going to start a healing. Amen. Amen. You want to believe God for nothing, but his word will come and you're going to believe, you're going to be a tool used by God and God going to heal your body. Amen. Praise the Lord. But when you receive your healing, it's up to you to develop your faith so you can maintain that healing. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because if you can't maintain your healing, you're going to be back where you was before you got healed. Amen. And then you say, God didn't work. No, no, no. you got something to do yourself. Amen. Too many cases where people got laid hands on them and received their healing, and about two or three weeks later, they're back where they was. Why was that? Because somebody didn't teach them how to use their faith. Amen. Develop your faith. Amen. You've got to have scripture designed just for yourself. There's all kinds of healings. And we've heard too much about, we watched on a show about Oral Roberts and what have you. He had the gift of healing. That's right. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. God used his faith to lay hands on you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But then there's the working of miracles when God's spirit does something through you. But other times, the, the spirit can be high and all of a sudden you can be healed like that and you receive your healing. Back pains or whatever or whatever it is is wrong with you. Amen. You need to learn how to develop your faith on whatever subject is you have got delivered from. If you don't, you'll lose it. Amen. Every day, I got confessions. I told you about when I, I got to be close now, about when my knee messed up on me. Things were rubbing together. Amen. I began to use my faith. Amen. Like taking medicine. You got to confess it. Talk about it. Every day, Lord, you're the God that made this body. You're the maker of my body. 
the outside of my torso to the inside of all my organs. The defective parts, I want you to make them whole and complete. So I confess this day that I, my body will be able to stand with me all the days of my life. That I'll be able to move around and function like I'm supposed to function. Amen. Anytime you wake up in the morning, it seems like something's going to go back on you. You say, no, no, Lord, your word declares it. You got to talk to him just like that. Amen. Like you take the medicine, the doctor tells you to take medicine, you take it on time. He says take two teaspoons of this every four hours or whatever. You do the same thing with the word of God. Amen. The word of God is medicine. Amen. We got to learn to develop our faith and use the word like it's supposed to be used. Amen. Amen. You put that word in for a reason. It's helped you to get strong. Be fighting. To trust in him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible talks about how to use your faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. We'll get into that, praise the Lord, how to develop your faith as we move on. Praise the Lord. But listen to the gift of faith is when God supernaturally does something for you. The working of miracles is when God supernaturally does something through you. Amen. Well, really, uh, what's called God used Oral Roberts to work through him. He worked through Oral Roberts to get you together. But then when he got you together, then you got to use your faith to develop yourself. Amen. 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 I know that's right. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. The results of the gift of power, praise the Lord. And, in Acts the 4th chapter, the 31st verse, is when the church finished praying, the place where they were at began to shake it. And they were filled with more boldness. God's going to give you boldness to do what you need to do in your community, in your block, in your neighborhood, on your job. When the opportunity presents itself, you know. Be bold about it. Amen. Amen. 4th chapter, 33rd verse says, and with great power gave, with great power gave he the apostles with witness about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The great grace upon them all. It was their job then to talk about what Jesus had done. About his resurrection. Why he was resurrected. Amen. And those that heard received. And it's our job to, to minister the word of God. And those that hear will receive. Amen. That's what we're trying to do when we talk on the, on the uh, set to the people uh, on the online. If you hear the word of God being ministered, receive it, and God will bless you. But some people got this mentality that I've heard that before, and they have the mentality they'll never get received nothing from God. Amen. Amen. Don't say I already heard that. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. You've got to hear it over and over again until it sink into your cranial cavity. Amen. That this word is real. And I'm here to tell you that God will deal with you and protect you and correct you and, and, and provide for you on any error that you need to be. Amen. 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 He's got your launching pad. Amen. Praise he knows where you're located at. Praise the Lord. He knows how to bless you. Amen. 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 Hey, there's nothing too hard for God to do. What he's done for others, he can do for you. Amen? Amen. Amen. You need to hear the word of God and then do it and apply it in your own life. And I'm guaranteeing you that God's word work. It's real. Amen. Somebody said he's real. He's real. He's real. He's real. He's real. I can feel him inside of me. I can feel him inside of me. Because I know. I know. I know. My God is real. My God is real. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these who are here and those that are watching online. I pray of something was said to encourage them to know that we've got to be bold to minister God's word. Amen. Man. Praise the Lord. Because it's only what we do for Christ is going to last. Those that are watching, if you are not saved, say, Father, I want you to forgive me all my sins. I want you to accept me into your family in Jesus' name. And I'll give up everything I need to give up to follow you all the days of my life in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Shake somebody's hands and God bless you.